Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kia Tatiana here and I'm in my crib, my first apartment. I'm 23 years old guys and this is my apartment, okay? This is my little prayer closet apartment style shebang, okay? And I'm so excited because this really wouldn't have been possible without God. God has placed it on my heart to testify about my process of having my own apartment. Um, and this started back months ago, honestly. This hasn't been something that just I turned around and said, hey, I'm gonna just get an apartment. You know what I'm saying? If you see any like shades or like different colors going back and forth, it's really because I'm sitting in front of the window. And I am planning on doing a house tour, well, apartment tour, whenever I have my apartment fully together. Right now, it's just all the things that I had from my mom's place. I just placed around. I don't really have order right now. Well, I just need a few more decorations, honestly. So yeah, I don't wanna show you guys too much or talk about too much about my house tour, apartment tour. It's not that serious right now. But whatever it is finished, for my own pleasure, it's not to boast or to brag for my own pleasure because I like memories, because I like looking back at things. And this is my first apartment and I know this is where I'm gonna be at for the most part for the next few years until I have a family house with my future family. We're gonna just jump right into this. So this process, this journey started last year, 2019 in about, I want to say, hmm. The whole moving process really started in December of 2019. Literally, I moved in. Okay, so my moving date was January 14th, technically. Um, and so that was like five days ago, six days ago type of thing. But it started my journey, my process of knowing that I'm going to be moving started in December. Here in 2019, I moved to New Jersey from Brooklyn, New York. I'm from Brooklyn, born and raised. I've never lived outside of New York, Brooklyn, unless, I mean, like, I lived in Atlanta for, like, a few months, but I don't really count that. It's like I lived there, lived there, but I was there for a few months before. But I never actually lived outside of New York the way I'm actually in New Jersey now. So when I moved to January, I moved to New Jersey in January 1st, 2019. So I've only been... I'm so confused. When did I move to New Jersey? Yeah. I moved January 1st, 2019. It literally just made a year of me living in New Jersey. I think. Yeah. It just made a year. I don't know why. Don't mind me, y'all. It just made a year of me living in New Jersey. And I initially moved here um, because my mom decided that... Okay, so January... I'm all over the place and I'm so sorry because this story... Every time I speak about the story, I remember things that happened. Um, in the moment, I just my brain just kind of like fogs up on certain things that has happened but in 2018 the whole year we moved out of the last apartment that i lived at with my family and when we moved out the lease ended and we've been looking for a new apartment we could not find a new apartment this was all in new york we could not find no new apartments especially in brooklyn because we really want to stay in brooklyn we eventually started looking at queens but the way that all these areas are now gentrified, the, the rents is all raised up, um, and it was just so many things going on, and usually it never took so long to find an apartment in Brooklyn. I've lived at a lot of different apartments in different areas of Brooklyn, and it never took that long for us to receive an apartment, especially because it was more than one um, person that was gonna be on the lease, so there was more than one income coming into the apartment. But long story short, it didn't happen. We ended up having to live with my sister in 2018. Shout out to her because if it wasn't for her, we would have no place to live. And yeah, so we lived in my sister's house the whole 2018. And it was about seven of us living in there, sometimes nine, depending on like if other family members came by, like slept over and all that. And I really don't want to go into details about that too much because that is my family. And I'm not trying to like expose nobody or anything like that. So this is not what this video is about. So we went, we lived there for our entire year. That whole entire year was a year that I discovered Christ and I started back on the church. And it, it, everything happened in a timely manner because if it wasn't for my relationship with God increasing, I don't know where I would have been mentally or physically. So just because it was overwhelming, um, being, I'm a person that likes to have her own space. I enjoy being in a place where I can sit in silence. 
I don't need to hear noise from other people. I don't really do the whole roommates thing. Um, I tried it in a little bit of time that I was in college and it wasn't for me. I always knew I wasn't the person to, especially growing into an, an adult, I knew I didn't want to be in a situation where I had to live with other people. Um, yeah, I, that's just not for me. So with that, I had all my nieces and my nephews there, my sister, my mom, my brother, like it was all of us in there and it was becoming overwhelming for me because I didn't have my own space, number one. Two, we were all sharing like different beds. Um, and these are kid beds at that, and I'm still grateful and I'm still thankful. Um, and I don't ever wanna say it to a way, cause I know there's people out there that don't have anywhere to sleep at all or an apartment or somewhere warm um, at that. And I'm grateful that I didn't have to go to a shelter or anything like that. Um, but I'm just really speaking from my experience and how I felt in the moment. So it was not to say like I wasn't grateful cause I am extremely grateful to this day for my sister opening her door for us to stay there and the day that i become financially rich because i will in jesus name i am definitely going to um, provide for my family first because of um, how much they have helped us so continuing on with the story we were there for a few months we moved in there march of 2018 and from march to december of 2018 we could not find no place. We was looking at apartments. Everything was too expensive. Nothing was available. It was just a whole lot going on. And at that point, I'm just like, all right, I've started praying more. And I'm like, God, like, why are we here for so long? Like, we were only supposed to be there for a month. And a month turned into good over nine months, literally. A good over nine months of us being there. And I was so stressed out. And since my relationship with God was increasing, I would try to listen to sermons, um, encouraging scriptures uh, for the season that I was at the season that I was in at that time. Do all that I can do, um, really and truly, to um, increase my faith. So, because of everything that was going on in there, it pushed me to be outside the house. I didn't want to be inside the house unless I had to sleep. So that also encouraged me smoking so much. It encouraged me wanting to be outside the house at other people's houses and all that. And, and that wasn't me. Like I, like I said, I didn't like. I don't like going to people's house. Like I don't even like when my friends ask me to come over. I'd rather them come over because, <laughs> y'all, I just don't like being in people's houses. And that's just that's just me. But in that season, I was I always felt the need to be outside of the house because of all that was going on inside of the house. So. That was that, and it was so stressful. I was not trying to grow weary. However, I was still new to my faith. I literally just got saved the same year that I was living at my sister's house. I got saved in August of that year, 2018. And after I got saved, I want to say things got better for me. Um, I became more dependent on God because I know um, who provides and that person is God. And I became more dependent on him in that area. But of course, the the voice of the enemy sometimes can seem a little bit louder when you don't, when you can't discern the voice of God. So because I didn't know how to really discern the voice of God and discern the voice of the enemy, I often believe the voice of the enemy. So I remember this one time, I just sat there and I'm like, all right, God. Nobody was talking about the errors at work, and I think I didn't have work at that time because I was working in a public school, and whenever public schools had off, we had off. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you worked in a public school, and you know how they have off for federal holidays, we were off. So, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. I, I was off one day, and I was home, and I was like, all right, let me, I just felt a huge um, urge to really want to pick up my Bible and read it that day. And I was reading it. Um, I started watching a sermon by Mike Todd. I think that's when I first discovered Mike Todd. I watched one of his sermons and it blessed me com completely. And from that day, my faith has increased. And I think that's when I first heard about fasting. I didn't really know what fasting was before because I did, I grew up in a church. However, the church that I grew up at, I, to my recollection, we never did fasting and all that stuff and stuff. I'm going to fast and believe that you are a miracle worker, that you are a provider, that you are Jehovah Jireh, you are the God who is in charge, who oversees all things. And I chose to believe that. And when I fasted, I fasted, I believe from social media. And then I did one, I fasted from 
food, certain foods, because I love to eat out. So I fasted from eating out, I believe. I did that and finished the fast, and we're still here. We still at the my sister's apartment, and nothing happened, nothing changed, and all that. And I was very hopeful the first two days, but also I was still becoming discouraged because of others around me weren't aligned in the same faith. Um, and that's why it's important to know the word of God and not to um, allow the voice of the world, per se, to perceive you into thinking that God is less than who he says he is. And I allowed what other people said about our situation to dictate how I felt about the current situation that we were in, if that makes sense. So, um, since that happened, I I was like, all right, for the first two days, I was I was strong, like God is going to provide. This is now in December, and at this point, nothing's happening. So I'm like, God, I just prayed, I just fasted, I just did all of that, and nothing is happening. Like I didn't, need, I don't see any change. We didn't get no callbacks from apartments. Um, we got declined from a few, and that never happens. My mom has an incredible credit, and it never happened before for us to get declined from all these job, all these um, apartments. Um, especially the ones in New York. So now this is pushing on the end of 2018. This is probably like after Christmas, I believe. Yeah, after Christmas. Because I, I prayed and everybody was asking me, my family, like, what do you want for Christmas and all that? And I literally said, don't get me anything. I really just want an apartment for Christmas. I want me and my mom to be in, in our own place. I'm tired of, like, girl weary. I'm tired of having... All, living out of a suitcase I'm tired of sleeping on my niece's bed like it's so many things that I was just over with like it was too much my body was aching mentally draining I was just drained I was just over the entire thing and so after Christmas so I prayed about that after Christmas still nothing and I believe it was the 12 28 December 28th is when my mom had texted me one day and she was like hey um this apartment in jersey so the realtor we had a realtor at the time he had texted her and said if she wanted to come see this apartment in new jersey and at this point i, I don't think i don't know where i was at because i don't know why i didn't go with her but i never saw the apartment until we moved in part of me was extremely comfortable with new york and i always said i would move out of new york i don't mind like i'm not that type of person that say i'm from the hood i'm gonna live in the hood forever like no I don't mind moving outside of the place that I'm most comfortable at. However, in the moment, it was just like, dang, like, I never thought the day of us moving outside of Brooklyn would come this fast. So, now I didn't mind because I grew up born and raised there. I don't mind living outside of Brooklyn. Like, it's no biggie for me. But in the moment, it's just like, oh, shoot. Like, if we really do get approved for it, I'm going to be living outside of Brooklyn got approved the same day I believe or the day after and I just remember like crying so much like wow like God seriously comes through for you um and just like his word says he never leaves you nor forsake you every time I think about it I get chills because that alone was a year for me an extreme 2018 was an extreme year for me and the way it ended it just proved to me how much God wants to do, do in your life. So, sorry guys. We're fast, a little faster. So we moved in, so we moved to in January. We moved, at least started January 1st, 2019 for the apartment that was in New Jersey where I, I just moved out of from. And the plan was to live there for a few years until I am able to um, get an apartment on my own. Uh, but because of things, the way things happen, and I was, so when I was living there, I was home alone a lot. And to not get into so much detail, I'm really trying to articulate how am I supposed to say this, but I don't get into too much details. But I was really home a lot. If you're my friend, you know what I'm talking about. But I was home so much that at a point in time, so I, I'm the last child out of my parents, right? And I grew up with older siblings in the house, and so supposedly I'm the baby, whatever you want to say. So my parents, I don't want to say my parents always did everything for me because they didn't, but 
when it came to housework i had chores but my only chores was really just to wash dishes and occasionally clean the bathroom but it was never like to the point where you gotta clean the whole entire house type of thing it was just never that for me was god was really preparing me and that just shows how intentional god is about his children he would never bring you into a situation that you are not equipped for and whether you can see that or not yeah so when i came out here i didn't really have a lot of friends and it didn't really help at the fact that well at the at that time i didn't feel like it helped that i was always home alone um and i was literally forced to i don't want to say forced i feel like my god was disciplining me that's a better word god was disciplining me uh, and setting aside intentional time with him um to dwell in his presence to worship to really just trust him and not depend on other people around me because that's something that i was good at so in that season god was preparing me so much with me being home alone i was at first i was a little hesitant i didn't really want to sweep the floor i didn't really want to do anything and I, god was actually showing me what it's like to steward what he gives you and i didn't know too much about stewardship um stewardship is something that i'm still learning okay I'm still learning but um just me being in the house was teaching me so much about taking care of a home. And I didn't know really too much about that, like I said, because I had my both of my parents doing a lot of things. Don't judge me. But it was so much that God was teaching me through those seasons. So I, I had no idea why. I'm like, God, we just moved out here and I'm home alone. I have to do all of this. Do, when we're obedient to God, uh, usually he's leading us to do something because of the future, because of what he has set ahead in plan. And that's something that I couldn't see, but that's something that was in the works of God. So fast forward the whole year of 2019, all good. And like August or September, my mom was like, she's about to move in with somebody and like, you gonna have to find your way type of thing. So the whole entire summer, I was not working, I don't believe. So I'm like, all right, like, okay, so just let me know a date where um, I'll know for sure that I have to move out. And because if we were going to move, she was going to move. I wasn't going to stay where we got that place at because the apartment is too much money. So I'm like, all right, I can afford it $1,500 by myself. So I'm definitely going to have to find something that's way cheaper than that. So I was looking here and there, on and off, not really, but kind of. And then one day my mom was like, all right, no, we're not going to move anymore. So we're just going to stay here for another two years. Well, yeah, basically two years. We're going to stay here until um, January 1st, 2021, when that lease ended in 2021. So we were going to stay there a total of two years. But that's not what happened. So the whole time, now we're all the way in early December. My mom starts packing and all that. And mind you, I didn't really have any updates on to where I was gonna go, what was the plan or anything like that. Um, I was I was anticipating another year so I can really save um, and learn how to budget my money in a way where I'll be able to pay my rent on time. But also, I always had a goal to live on my own by 22 or 23. That's something that I always has to stone. I wasn't personally in store for living with my parents 26 27 28 like that just wasn't for me and i know people who do it and that's great for them because honestly you save so much money when you live with your parents child it's only been six days hasn't even been a week i've been living by myself and there's so much that you have to pay for when you live by yourself that you don't even know when you live with your parents like certain things like oh you gotta buy toilet paper you gotta buy kitchen paper you gotta buy um disinfectant wipes it's just so many things that you didn't really have to buy when you live with your parents so I don't judge people who live with their parents because honestly, I low-key would have lived with my mom for another two years if I really had to. I probably think that I wouldn't have moved out to 24 anyways, 24, 25, but because of God's plan for my life, um, things had to go otherwise. So I believe my mom when she said she was moving out because I didn't, I couldn't believe that this was to be something that she would actually agree to. And she was so serious, she was packing her things. Every day she was like three more weeks, two more weeks, and I was not packing not a dang, not a dang thing I was packing in there, okay? Not even a sock I was putting in a suitcase. I wasn't doing nothing. I didn't start packing my bags the three days before we were actually moving out. 
and it's only because I was so in doubt and shocked that this was this is my life and during that whole time I don't want to say like I slid into depression because I don't like to label myself in these things um, I believe that I allowed uh, the lies of the enemy to control my mind that's what I would say because of my lack of trusting in God it was while I was in the midst of like crying my eyes out I remember this one day sitting at the table and I was eating my food and I just started bawling my eyes out like my nose started like dripping and I just had my head down and it fell right into the food and I was just crying so hard and I remember hearing God's voice so clearly he was like um daughter do you not trust me and it's not that I didn't trust God, but it's just like, God, why though? I just moved here. Like, why do I have to move again? And most people are probably saying like, why do, why do you care so much about moving again? I've been moving for the past five years straight. Every single year around March, I was moving, but it just changed into January. But every single year around March, I was moving. March 1st, since 2015, since I was a senior in high school, yeah, just me five years. I've been moving every single year and I was tired of it. It's exhausting, changing locations, um, adjusting to a new environment. It's a lot on a person and I did not want to go through that again. So many times that Holy Spirit was revealing to me my lack of trust in God because of me just worrying over a place to stay. And when I realized my mom was super serious and it's either I go move with her in that other place, which is another state, either I go move with her to another state or I go back to Brooklyn or I find my own place in New Jersey and of like a week I have to find and figure out everything and I usually deal with moving situations around my birthday which was something that was also depressing for me because around my birthday I could never really enjoy it because of me having to move and the stress of moving and all that type of stuff so when I found that I will have to move out and find a place and have somewhere to stay and all that and my sister did open up her house for me again to stay in brooklyn however i know the plan and the call that god has in my life to be it to be at in new jersey and i knew that moving back to brooklyn would be going backwards and not something that god has um for me to do if i was to move back to brooklyn i would really just be setting myself back and setting my family back um for all the things that god has called me to do and that was so that wasn't an option moving back to Brooklyn was an option however as my lack of trust in God started to um increase I started to think of going back to Brooklyn as an option really a lot on me I couldn't enjoy any outing with people I didn't really want to be around people my boyfriend we would go out and do things and the whole entire time I would just be crying like he would say something and I'll just start bullying it's not even because it's something that he was saying it was really just because I couldn't believe how my life was about to change in just a few days, few, just a few hours, and I didn't know where I was going to be at, didn't know if I was going to be in a shelter, didn't know if I was going to be at a friend's house, didn't know if I was going to do this. I didn't know anything, and just because I didn't know anything um, doesn't mean that God doesn't know anything, and that was something that was so hard for me to comprehend. Moving out December 30th, um, 2019, and I can insert a clip of me just like unraveling my bedroom and all that and I was just so depressed guys like this was the point where I was just like all right like I'm depressed and I didn't want to label myself at that but it was getting to the point where I didn't want to do anything like I don't want to do anything I don't want to do be where anywhere uh, I even contemplated going to church and when I've been to, when I was going to church um and this is really just the enemy yo but when I was even at church I was I would be crying during worship and it's really not because I felt the presence of God. I would really be crying because I would think about where I'm gonna go after church. Like I didn't have nowhere to go, I didn't have a place to call home anymore. And it was really depressing for me because I've been moving for the past five years. So um thank God for the community that He's blessed me with here in New Jersey. Um I had some friends open up their home for me to stay at. And shout outs to my friend Maddie because I lived with her for a few days. And then I lived with my other friend Eva. Shout outs to her as well. I lived with them for equally like between the 14 days. So mind you, I had to live with them. Okay, so I forgot all of this. Before um, they opened up their home to me, 
uh, I told them like I didn't even know like when I was gonna get the apartment because I applied to the apartment that I'm at right now. However, because of the holiday times, it was so many pushback dates for me to know if I got approved or not. One being that it is so many people living in this complex. Two, it's always a waiting list. And it was just, they just didn't know. So I was praying, I was fasting. I was asking my friends to pray for me. I was asking my leaders to pray for me. Um, and really, really, really during my praying and fasting, this praying and fasting, I was really choosing to believe in the midst of this storm, literally in the midst of me crying my eyes out. I will just be like, all right, Kia, stop. And I really pray and believe that God is going to provide this apartment for you. And I was really choosing to believe and trust that. I was having dreams about it, that God approved me for this apartment. So I was like, all right, I'm going to just believe. Even though I don't know right now, I'm going to believe that God already has an apartment set out for me. And moved in with my friend Maddie, I guess, like, I don't want to say, I think like two days after my birthday or something like that, I believe. Yeah, two days after my birthday, I got um, a call from them. Yeah, it was on January 3rd. January 3rd, my birthday is January 2nd. January 3rd, I got the email saying that we got approved for the apartment. And I was just like, wow, praise God. Like, after all of this has been going on the past few weeks, really praying and fasting and believing that God, he really provided and he really showed up for me. So I was excited. But also the moving date was January 15th. And this was January 3rd. So I had to stay at my friend's houses for a few days. I split time and really thank God for them because I didn't want to go back to Brooklyn and I didn't want to go in another state with my mom because I have work here. Um, my church is here and there was just so much that's going on over here that I would not be able to be a part of if I go to another state. Especially if that's not what God wants me to do. So um, I lived with them for a few days and then I moved in on January 14th just a couple days ago and I live in my own apartment now all glory to God I just thank God for all that he's been doing in my life this is just one of the many testimonies that God has been showing up and showing through in my life y'all is this is just not even a half of it and I can't even just say like this is an apartment that I got by chance or luck uh, because like I said that waiting list was extremely long and just the fact that I applied to the waiting list a week before and I got approved the weeks after that never happens here because of the vast majority the vast variety of people who applied to these apartments and I had no idea that I would get approved for it and I really just want to thank God because this is somewhere that I can call home. I'm making it my safe place, my prayer place. Um, I don't want to say prayer closet because this whole place is going to be my prayer closet per se. But just knowing that I have somewhere to call home is amazing. I'm 23 years old. I live in my own place. And this is just beginning of my journey of adulthood. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be the end of the video. I just really wanted to talk about how good God has been and the power of just trusting and believing in God like his word says. And this is just my testimony of how God gave me an apartment at 23 years old. It's not all peaches and creams and I really didn't want to say I got an apartment and let people think that, oh, it's just that easy. And it may look like on social media that I've had it all together and all that. I don't and I still don't. I never did, but with God, I will. And this is just a testimony of how God gave me an apartment. I can't wait to do an apartment tour, but if you watch this whole entire video, I just thank you because I know this video is about to be really long and I really didn't want it to, but I just really thank you for watching and staying tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, click the bell notification. If you enjoyed this video, comment down below what other videos you would like me to do in my new apartment. Um, besides an apartment tour, what else would you like me to do? I'm so excited to start this new journey.